<sighs> Come on, epidemic sound, man. Come on, just give me a banger. I just need a banger real quick. I only got it for a couple minutes. What is this? That's fine. We're going to listen to it. It's an instrumental. Okay, normally you got to wait a couple seconds for it. Come in, come in. Okay. I think I can deal with it. Yeah. Thank you. You're so awesome. What's up, man? It's your boy, Chester, man. I'm back with another so- episode of the What You Mean Podcast, man. And uh, we got a What's New segment, man, slash after hour segment. It's going to be a little crazy. I don't know. It ain't going to not be too crazy. But I got a dope dancer, model, a person making their debut into the industry, you know what I'm saying, with me, we just did a dope collab, man, so I'm going to let her introduce herself and tell y'all where y'all can find her. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Danny Yo. Y'all can find me on Instagram at E-L-L-E Danny underscore. Again, that's E-L-L-E Danny underscore. I'm from the 205, so please, please mess with me, follow me, like my content, be a fan of me. I'm cool. That's what's up, man. And you already know, man, I'm your boy, Chester, man, your host for this little session we finna have. So, uh, I actually only got her for just a short amount of time, so we're going to have to just jump straight, in, straight into it. So, first and foremost, I want to say thank you uh, for coming and kicking it with us today. Uh, we did a dope collaboration today. It was myself, Beauty Chemistry, on the makeup, on the beat, me on the camera, and, of course, her doing the modeling and killing it. Uh, so uh uh I... I <laughs> There's been some some shared conversations since she was in here. Uh, very interesting. Uh, I'm glad to see that there's a personality behind the pretty face. So uh, I, I want to jump straight into it and kind of sort of be like, I know you said you're from Birmingham, and you know you. How long have you been in Atlanta? Um, since August. So what is it? April. We are pushing up on a year. So okay. Not too long. So kind of sort of running right up on a year that you've been up there. Uh, so when it comes to your career, your career paths, and what you're trying to do, like what really prompt the move to Atlanta, and um, like how often can content creators here in Birmingham get a hold of you to continue to work with you since this is where you're from? So what prompted the move, I would say I've known I was going to Atlanta from the time I was in college. So you can say my sophomore, junior year of college, I was following dancers there. All of the major dance studios were there at the time. Dance 411, Excel, um, Area. So they were there. Right. And now the dance movement is moving to L.A. So before I graduated, I was like, I need to be there because I need to be training under these dope choreographers. I need to make sure I'm there. So I moved. Um, Of course, coronavirus hit, so... That pushed me back a year and a half. Right. Then the movement, the dance movement moved to L.A. in that time period. But other than that, I feel like if anybody in Birmingham wants to get a hold of me, all they have to do is reach out, DM me, email me, let me know what they're trying to do, and I can, like, you know, I'll give set you, up a date to do that. I'll I, I give you a 60-40 on the, on the whole DMing you thing. I give you sixty four. My family's here, so of course I'm gonna come home I, at some I, point. I feel you, but people are just randomly reaching out to you and your DM because they want to work with you. I'm real life. I'm probably gonna give you like a sixty forty on that. I check it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I check every single one of my DMs. So how do you decide what you're gonna respond to and what you're not gonna respond to? Their content. Mm. So you go and check out people that reach out. I do indeed. So what got you here? Your content. Okay. Your content, your professionalism, how you reach out to me, how you contact me, the things that you say to me, a person that says to me, when are you free? I don't pay as much attention to them as a person who says, when are you available? Because okay. I'm never free. Pimp then. Pimp then. That's pimp gang right there. Uh, and, and, and <laughs> shout out to the engineer, the MUA, Beauty Chemistry in the building. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the reason I'm saying that is simply because of the fact that uh, you know I just had a panel with some photographers we talked a couple of days ago, and uh, you know one of the the crazy things that they said, what I told, I shared with them is a lot of the models that do a lot of boudoir shooting, 
in the city of Birmingham that are actually pretty dope. Like, we got some dope people here that create content in the city of Birmingham. And I'm not from here. I'm from Evergreen, Alabama. I'm from three and a half hours down south. Oh, you know close to where I went to school in Mobile. Okay, so you went to USA? I did go to USA. Oh, okay. Shout out to USA. Go Jags. Uh, y'all football. Y'all still got a football team? Yeah, they trash. Uh, yeah, they trash. They are. It's okay. I remember when they Jags. first got. I remember when they first got him. My cousin he graduated like a year before me, and he started playing. No, actually, they didn't graduated in two thousand and one, and they had just got a football program. Then it died out, and then it came back again. You know what I'm saying? So go Jack. They trash, but, but whatever. Um, I was just telling them like a lot of people that I have had the opportunity in Birmingham to work with. They responded to me, case in point, because of the approach. But I had to learn how to approach models. You know what I'm saying? I had to learn how to approach people that I want to work with. And I'm not going to grill you on tonight because I just grilled some girls the other day Mm -hmm. about how, you know what I'm saying, photographers or just like the nigga that you bump into in the club. Photographers are just like the nigga that see you walking down the aisle in Walmart. Photographers are just like the nigga that trying to buy you a drink. You know what I'm saying? Photographers are the same people that might see you at a restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But a lot of females don't treat photographers like that. They treat us like if we make an advance on you, like it's like almost like we just broke a law. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I had to learn about my approach when it came to that. Like the majority of the times that I've been a photographer, I've literally been in a, in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? And I respected my relationship. So to me, it was just strictly about content. But every now and then, every now and again, I come across nowadays a woman that I wouldn't mind dating or spending time with or getting to know. You know what I'm saying? And I don't allow any of that to get in the way of my brand or my bread. You know what I'm saying? Or what I'm doing mm-hmm. when it comes to creating content. And I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's a safe place for photographers to simply let it be known. Like, hey, I may or may not be interested or whatever the case may be. And the real guys, the real people who understand that, what they do is it don't matter if you want to talk to them or not. Guess what? They're going to still work with you because they want the content. It's not about uh, a do or a don't. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I'm saying I like to say that the models that I've worked with in Birmingham have literally worked with me because of my approach. The same thing you just said. They worked with me because I had a mood board. They worked with me because I knew what I wanted the shoot to look like. So I was able to give direction and tell them exactly what it was from the beginning. Vice versa, you know what I'm saying? Jumping in DMs like I used to when I first started out. I'm like, hey, I'm a photographer. I want to shoot you. And then I go, I get left on red for a year, two years. You know what I'm saying? Three years. Like it's. I'm not like that. I would say even with guys who want to like talk to me, I'm right. very polite. So whether it's me liking what you saying something to me and I like your post just to acknowledge that I saw it. Mm -hmm. I'm very polite. I'm not going to be like, Oh no, don't talk to me. I'm like, Oh, thank you. It was nice to meet you. Thank you very much for your comment. Blah, 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 whatever it's going to be. But I'm very polite. I'm not a person that's just going to give you some kind of heart rejection. If it's a no, it's a no, but I'm going to let you down lightly. I'm not going to be rude to you or anything like that. I've actually shot with a lot of photographers that I feel like I didn't like. (laughs) <laughs> but at the end of the day, It'd be like I'd rather have a wide portfolio mm-hmm. than to have a smaller portfolio. So right. a lot of the times when you shoot with photographers who are brand new or who are not as good as they should be, it gets you to the point where you're like, okay, if I'm a dope model, I can make the worst photographer look like the best photographer mm-hmm. because I'm good at what I do. Right. So it helps you. It, it challenges you to be better. I think it takes both, though, to be honest. Like, it does. If, you, if you're a dope model and you stand in front of a photographer that don't know what they're doing, like, you're going to be able to tell. Like, you know what I'm saying? Case in point, when we shot tonight, you know what I'm saying? My point was to take a break, number one, because we were running cold water on you. Yeah, I can breathe. Yeah. But number two, it was to show you so your confidence would continue to build so that, you know, me and Kim could reiterate, like, that's a dope shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and Kim not going to... That's why I talked to her first. You see, and I pulled her aside and showed her what we was looking like first to see if she was going to give me, like, any look. I won't even say pointers, but necessarily suggestions, like, just from her point of view, like, I like this, or maybe you should do this or do this, whatever the case may be, so I could take it under consider- correct consideration. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I talked to her the first time, like, we went through those first series of pictures. Mm-hmm. But we were taking those breaks so you could see, like, this is what you're looking like. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to change something, you can see yourself what you want to change. Like, mm-hmm. I know at one point in time, you was like, hey, if you want to pose me, go ahead and pose me. I didn't have to pose you because you you know 
what needs to be done. Like that's the difference between working with an experienced model and a model that does not have any experience, which I don't have a problem working with either or. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But when you get somebody that you're doing a collaboration with, at that point in time, it's a collaboration. It's almost like you paying me for my time and I'm paying for yours. You know what I'm right. saying? What they call TLP. You know what I'm saying? Trade for, trade for print. You know what I'm saying? Like you giving me your trade, I'm giving you my print, which is my, which is my time with my camera. You know what I'm saying? So you showed up and you showed out today. I give you that. You Thank got you. some dope looks. You got some dope poses and stuff like that. I am probably going to sit in front of my computer and just look at the pictures probably a million times until I decide which one is just that one. You know what I'm saying? Right. I did the same thing with the last uh, collaboration that myself and Kim did with a girl named Ty. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like she took a whole bunch of dope pictures and it took me a couple of weeks to choose exactly what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because I wanted to stand out, which is the most recent pose on my Lapit visuals page. You'll see her with the, with the red fabric on her, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Going from side to side. Like I think that's probably one of the best pictures that I've ever taken since I've been a photographer. My, my, my mentor won't agree on that, but I feel like that's one of the best pictures I've taken. Yes. So when it comes to what you've done tonight, I don't want you to feel like you didn't come in this motherfucker and shut it down because you did you did the damn thing. Like, it's some dope pictures in there. You might not see it right now, but when I send you the images and say, hey, pick your, your top seven, your top ten, I'm going to do the same thing with Kim. And I'm not doing that because I want y'all to choose the images because at the end of the day, I'm going to choose the images. I want to see if y'all head at the same place I am when I decide what I like Mm-hmm. And then I'd be like, damn, she liked it and Kim liked it too. So I know it's a banger then. You know what I'm saying? Right. Kind of like a listening party when it comes to music. Like before you release music, you invite some head execs into a room and be like, hey, this is the track I'm ready to put out. You play it to get the response from everybody. That's kind of sort of how I do with my photos. So again, I don't want to talk too much because I want to hear from you, but you did a great job tonight. I enjoyed you. I appreciate you. That. You created some dope content. I think that you're going to be. I think the picture's gonna turn out dope, bro. Like I think it's really gonna probably gonna be something that, that I'm gonna incorporate in my portfolio. But one of the things that I wanted to bring in this room and talk about was I know that we had kind of sort of started talking like, you know what I'm saying, rates and stuff like that. So when do when do models get to a point where they feel like they should start charging people for them being a model per se? Okay. I can't speak for everybody else, but I this uh, blah, 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 blah. I definitely can say I can speak for me. Right. And speaking for me, it's when I moved. When I well, I can't even say that. Before I moved to Atlanta, I started being in multiple videos, and it wasn't just little bitty local artists. It was top artists, little Duval, little Boosie. Mm-hmm. So it's people that you know of. And I started working a lot. People started really liking my pictures. They started stopping me in the club and saying, hey, you're Danny. Like, I see your content all the time. I'm following you. I want to be just like you. You inspire me to do such and such and such and such. So that was the point. I was like, okay, I'm really doing something, and I need to do more. Right. So that doesn't say to me, like, oh, girl, you the shit. Like, fuck, you that. It's Mm -hmm. like, you need to do more. So when people are looking to, hey, come out to this event at the club, or, hey, I want to shoot you, or, hey, I want you on my video. Now, I'm working with mainstream artists. I've worked with Quavo. I've worked with Young Miami. These are the people that y'all are listening to every day. If they're going to pay me this amount, or I'm going to work for this amount, you're not going to get me to come on set for $50 an hour. It's not going to. It's not going to fly. It's not going to work. You're not going to bring me into a club for $300. Right. It's not going to work because I'm working my ass off constantly. I'm constantly shooting. I'm constantly sitting down for hours looking at this same picture. So, like you were saying, like, you have to pick out of seven pictures. I will look at one picture for 30 or 45 minutes and pick everything apart. Like, oh, my eye shouldn't have been looking to the left. It should have been looking to the right. I sit there and I work on that. So... You're paying me for my time. Right. You're paying me for my art. So if I'm sitting here trying to make myself better, you're not going to get me for free. Right. Especially when you're brand new. Right. You have to work to get to where I am, to right. where we can collaborate or we can produce dope work. Right. Now, some people I can see, I can see them. I'm like, oh, that's a dope person. Like, I can help them. They can help me, whatever. But if it's somebody that's brand new, they're not where I am, then no, you're going to have to pay me. 
for my time and effort. You're gonna have to pay me for those ten thousand hours of becoming a master. Gotcha. Like I'm working constantly. I, look, I res- I respect the hustle, bro. Like I mean, it's it's just I know that I've worked with some models that I'm just not gonna pay. That's not a reason to pay them. You know what I'm saying? Like is <laughs> is I'm just I'm just keeping it a buck, bro. It's like at the end of the day, like. I'm like you. I'm my worst critic. You know what I'm saying? Every day I come in here, I see something that needs to be done, something needs to be fixed, something I don't like. It needs to be moved. It needs to be done this. It needs to be done that. And then I'm even my worst critic when it comes to my work. That's why I'm telling you, like, I'm trying to make it easy on myself by allowing you and Kim to make some selections on those photos so maybe I can kind of sort of lean towards, you know what I'm saying, maybe even so the ones that y'all chose and then choose from from those, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because I can go through them pictures and I'll probably end up liking a couple of them for all the wrong reasons you know what i'm saying so it's like i like getting the collective thing now when it comes to the editing process like i know what i want to look like already right i know like i knew i knew that i knew how i wanted to look before we ever shot the first picture you know what i'm saying but a lot of a lot of models nowadays bro if they're just getting in the game and 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 to be honest bro like Photographers, it, if we do collaborations, collaborations are for a reason. Just like mm-hmm. you would do a collaboration for a reason. Like you just said, you value your time and what you do and how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, it's the same thing with me. You know what I'm saying? I, I still work a regular job. You know what I'm saying? So I give photography at the end of every day, 5, 5 p.m. to midnight. You know what I'm saying? Then I have to get up and do the same thing every single day. And then I run my own studio. So it's like, that's what I was telling you, like, I'm at a point where I really don't have to do nothing for free, but I know at the same time, like I like the conceptual aspect of photography. I like trying to create different stuff. And if I'm gonna go all out to do something like that, it just needs to be with somebody that can reciprocate that energy. You see what I'm saying? Correct. Like your last post, like I think got like ten thousand likes. You know what I'm saying? Your last post did. And I was like, okay. I was like, shit, assistant shot up. I was like, cool. So when you when I seen your post, like a week before, you know what I'm saying? I was like, Okay, she coming to the ham. Like I knew it. I knew I had been trying to work with you anyway. You know what I'm saying? I was like, now I'm probably to pray for China to see if we can go ahead and reel her in. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and, and create some dopeness. You know what I'm saying? And you get it. You know what I'm saying? Like you get the fact that I love the fact of how you're branding yourself. Like, hey, I'm not a new model. Hey, I don't like this. Hey, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? And it took a while to get there. I will say that I would do some of everything just to be like, hey, I just want a model. Now I'm getting to the point like this is me, this is who I am, this is what I do. And that's and that's and that's that's part of the branding aspect, you know what I'm saying? But the one thing that I can say about the shoot that we did tonight is that you understand the aspect of selling. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you when we shot you, like I wasn't even focused on the the nude or the the more revealing parts of you. I told you what my focus was. My focus was the shower head and your face. Mm-hmm. Like that's if you look at any of those shots, that's gonna be the majority of shots until we got to the end when, you know, you wanted to change it up a little bit. But that was the focus of the shot, you know what I'm saying? The texture of the water hitting your face, your facial expression that you were giving the camera, you know what I'm saying, in that moment, you know what I'm saying? I really didn't care nothing about the rest, you know what I'm saying? But some of the images that we got because you was like, hey, let's try this and let's do that, they ended up being revealing because you understand the aspect. It's a tease, bro. We live in a world where I told some people the other day, like, I don't care how you look at it or how you accept it, sex sales. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it was like, you understand the aspect of, I'm going to give you a little bit, but I'm not going to give you a lot. You know what I'm saying? I play on that fine line. And that's and that's that's gonna get you a long way. You know what I'm I saying? I straddle that fence. I'm not gonna give you too much, but I'm not gonna give you too little. I'm gonna give you just enough. I feel you. And 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 when folks see the images when they drop, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, them hoes is hot. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't gonna lie. Like I went through your gram, and see, my thing is when I when I choose people that I want to work with too. Like I want to choose people that have worked with dope photographers because I want to work with them too. But I also, when people have the accolades, you know what I'm saying? Or they're up and rising and they got something going on. Mm-hmm. And I look at their spread and I don't see anything that competes with what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, for me personally, I'm trying to make a statement. Like, at that point, when I call you in and say, hey, let's work, I'm trying to make a statement because I know that when you unload my shit, I'm the fives nigga, photographer-wise, <laughs> on your fucking timeline that you don't fuck with. Like, I already looked at your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and... I had a room full of photographers in here that 
Danny Austin is the photographer of photographers in Birmingham. People can say what they want to say, bro. Like, look forward to meeting Ted's them. Davenport. Never, never heard of him. I look forward to meeting them. I don't know how. And, and the reason you may not have heard from him is because he don't concentrate on the, on the type of photography like that me. You know who Panda is? Mm-mm. Okay, so these are people that you need to know. I these, look forward to meeting like, them. These are, definitely, like these are definitely people that when you come into Birmingham and you want to shoot, those are people that you need to create art with. All right, now let me ask, are they more like lifestyle type of photographers? So Danny Austin is more, he's strictly like more so on the corporate side. He don't care about taking no lingerie, bathing suit. He don't care about See, I'm more of a that. bikini model, so I kind of focus on those people. But I really don't. That's something about me. I really don't shoot with people outside of Birmingham. So that's Panda. I don't shoot with people outside of Birmingham, for real. So so, so Panda introduced me to something. So I'm about to create a list of uh, female people that I work with. I haven't come up with a name for it. So I don't know if you know Morgan Renfrey, um, but um, he is, he, the name of his photography is, is, uh, is Winfrey something, but he got the Winfrey Bates and he literally, uh, he got a, a list of like dope female uh, models that everybody follow and mess with, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So he was supposed to be on the podcast, but something ended up popping up happening, he couldn't make mm-hmm. it. Panda the same way. Panda has a list of dope models that are in Birmingham that they're panda babes. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. they're the people that shoot constantly because they're about content. They're coming up with concepts. They're coming up with ideas. And they're shooting to them. And he was like, bro, you need to be doing the same thing. And the reason is because those women for him are walking advertisement. That's what allows for him to be able to be a sole photographer and don't worry about nothing else because he knows that at the end of the month, I'm going to get 15 to 20 shoots a month that's going to pay X amount of dollars and put me where I need to be financially. You know what I'm saying? I can so, understand that. So he was like, okay. you need to re- really like get on that. So the only reason I ain't got on it, I ain't came up with a name. Because my name is LePic Visuals. And I name I, I named my company LePic Visuals because I wanted to be on everything. I wanted to do everything. I didn't mm-hmm. want to just do one thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's why I call it visuals. Anything they got to do, anything with visual, whether cinematography, short films, uh, you know what I'm saying? Commercials, photography, it don't matter. Like, I, I know how to fight a drone. <laughs> I know how to do um, podcasting. Don't close like, the door like, I know how to do I a lot. Of, so, that, so I don't know what to call my babes or my dolls or my angels. I don't know what to call them because don't of what them my anything. name is. Call them your models. I don't know, man. I got to give it a name, bro. Like it's a, it's a, that 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 thing is a brand itself, and the only reason I brought that up is because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. If you ain't under, it ain't even like you're under somebody. I don't want you to think that neither. It's like mm-hmm. you just it's like being a brand ambassador almost. You get the perks of being part of the program. You know what I'm saying. You get percentages or whatever off of photo shoots. You get the opportunity to create uh, constant content. You get some things for free or whatever the case may be. And you just you know it's in it's a hashtag in your bio on Instagram. Says that you, you know, you will pick visuals, doll, or whatever the case may be. See, like, my thing is, and it's a little bit different from a lot of models, is to be that standout model, to be the point, to be to the point to where Danny L is her brand by herself. Of course. And my photographer is like, whoever I work with, I will rep them to the end of the earth. Right. Whoever they are, if it's three or four of them, I will rep them to the end of the earth, but just to not box me in a category. And that's one reason why I would say I don't work with a lot of photographers here. Mm -hmm. And I don't talk to a lot of people here because I don't want people to know what I'm doing or how I'm doing it or how I'm moving. Because I move in a certain way. I'm very private. I'm very secretive. I work really hard. and I don't want other models to do similar things to what I'm doing. Right. Like... I will give you the inspiration after I've done it, but I'm not giving you free game because I worked my butt off to get to where I am. And that's why I was timid about sharing my idea with you because I didn't want you to tell me no and then you go share it with somebody else. So oh, I would never. So it's definitely, but you got people to do that. So, 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 so I get definitely what you're saying and the aspect of like, you know what I'm saying, staying in your own lane because this is the type of content that you're creating. Case in point, that's why Danny also told us that he don't follow no other photographers in Birmingham because he don't want to start seeing something that 
that they're doing and he like it and then he's recreating it because he sees it. He was like, it's nothing against the photographer. It's nothing about not giving a person their accolades or patting them on the back. It's simply because I don't want to see this stuff visually all the time because if I start to like it, generally it's going to be something I'm going to create in my everyday workflow. You see what I'm saying? So right. I get, so I I get what you're saying. I don't want to be characterized as a Birmingham model. Don't get me wrong. Or like, oh, she's just a Birmingham girl. Don't get me wrong. 205 to the day I die. Oh, she's 205 in this bitch. But you're not going to characterize me as, oh, that's a Birmingham girl. That's a Birmingham model. No, I'm global. Right. I'm and global I, I, don't, I don't think the hashtag really, really closes you into a box. It's just another, again, another accolade. Because the the women that, that, that carry the... The, the panda um, panda babes tag like there's not just anybody he's not giving that opportunity to just anybody there's a reason why he gave it. it's kind of sort of like there was 50 million other fucking women in the motherfucking video that you was in but you was in the video you know what i'm saying so that's an accolade that you have to say that you were part of the creation of that video you know what i'm saying and it's a million other hundred million other women that can't say that they've done that you see what i'm saying so when you think about panda being a panda babe you being a panda babe it might be 30 other girls that's panda babes but it's a hundred million other women that are not panda babes you see what i'm saying so being a part of what he created in that aspect he created that and allowing people to be part of that for a reason and i'm gonna do the same thing when i create it, it's not for everybody everybody that want in not gonna get in it's gonna be a reason why i let you in or i work with you on the level that i work with you because of that because i believe that the work that i put in is the work that i'm gonna get out you know what i'm saying so is a, and I hate to say this because you can take uh you can take a gym in the rough, bro, and bring them up and it and shit blow up. That's just social. You can go viral at any mm -hmm. point in time in this world that we live in with any person doing anything. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to yeah. say that just because she got 200 followers instead of 200 thousand that she's not a dope model or a dope content creator. That's not what I'm trying to say. But what I'm saying is when we're looking at the forefront of it, the forefront of it, we're saying, okay, cool. She got 12,000 followers. Okay, cool. Let me scroll. Her engagement, damn, she getting like 100, 200 comments. Okay, cool. She getting like, she averaging about in between eight and 1,000 likes on every picture. Okay, that's real engagement. You know what I'm saying? That means that if I take some dope work of her and she posts it, people are going to start seeing that I'm one of the photographers that she worked with. This is the kind of content that I'm pushing. So on top of what I, my reach is, my reach is now doubling because my reach is going through now you. So that's how we see that when we set that up as in making you a part of, hey, you're in my Telegram group. This Telegram is secret. Don't nobody else got access to it. It's a bulletin, basically. Hey, this is what's going on. This is what I'm trying to shoot. This is what I'm trying to do. Anybody interested? Y'all getting the offer first before anybody else gets it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this is how much you're going to pay for it. I normally would charge $500 for this look, but because you're uh, a Lapeak Visuals Angel, hey, all I need is $100. All I need you to do is post it when I get done. What's up? You know what I'm saying? You sound like me as moving as a casting director because I'm about to start being a casting director in Birmingham, Alabama. For real? Yeah, I'm about to start teaching the girls how to do the stuff that I do. That's what's up, man. Have you already came up with a name? I have, but I'm not going to talk about it. That's what's up, man. Go on and make that thing of LLC. Go on and protect your name and, and go ahead and do what you need to do. I help the girls move how I move because I know a lot of people, they always ask, like, how do you do what you do? I want to know how you move, how you do what you do, but it ain't free. Got you. Ain't nothing free. Hey, hey, didn't I just, Ken, didn't I just tell you, didn't I just tell you what, didn't I just tell you about what ain't free? <laughs> Niggas think poom poom free. Poom poom ain't free, cuz. Dolph said ain't nothing You're gonna pay for that poom poom some kind of way. You're gonna pay for it, cuz. I had to get out the mud. I had to figure it out for myself. I had to move. I had to go out there and learn. I had to be on set and literally have, have to learn how to move from being, now granted, it didn't take me nothing but. 30 minutes to an hour to learn how to be in from in the back to in the front. Right. And being at a disadvantage because I'm so little, I'm so small. You in here with the thick girls, the fake bodies, the weaves, and moving from being the little natural girl, the little natural cute girl. We really don't care front. about that, Danny. In Atlanta, they do. It's, it's no, the they world don't, of fake bro. bodies. They care. Listen, I'm going to tell you how they care because. I'm not going to go down a checklist on, on who and what I really know in Atlanta because I got a lot of people I deal with in Atlanta. And, uh, and, 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 and you know how we was talking about prices and rates and stuff up front? Mm -hmm. I really know a shitload of people. Like, no cap. Like, I know a lot of people that I could probably pick up my phone and call right now. 
But what I'm telling you is, at the end of the day, when it comes to us as men, we know what we like to play with, but we know what we like to deal with. Do you get that, what I'm saying? Okay, period. You need to repeat that one more time. I need to hear it one more time. We know what we like to play with. But we know what we like to deal But we also know what we like to deal with, too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, it's, it, it's all fun and games. It's nice to look at certain stuff. It's nice to dip and dab with it. But when you look at the core of a real man, like, he know what he won't want. Like, BBLs and all that shit, that shit cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, you probably got men that are signing off on BBL that uh, that are with women that they love right now just because they love them. Like, you ain't got to go do that to make yourself feel, look no different kind of way for me. But you got women that are just doing it because that's what they want to do. And men are supporting them because they love them. But they already love them how they are. Like, that's why I'm even dealing with you. They have to do that. And being in the industry, you feel like you have to do that. That's how you have to move. But that's what made me different. That's what my brand was wrapped around is being me, being natural, being different. Like, oh, I'm about to be the little cute, little natural chick versus all the girls with the big titties, big asses that most of them probably fake. But I'm going to be different. Right. And I'm going to bring back the 90s vibe and the 90s bodies. And I'm going to see how that vibe. So, granted, it's been a little harder for me to get to where I am. But at the same time, mine doesn't run out. Theirs run out. You were scrubbing the ground with what you got, though. I know I, you said you're tired of but I... I, 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 I got to fire somebody else. 12 hours of shaking that ass. I was tired. I done rewinded that thing about four times when she hit the scrub the ground. But, see, at the same time... <laughs> I grew up on that. Right. I grew up on Booty Mix 96 with Uncle Head and Q-Dog and JT Money. Like, I grew up on them. Those are my mom's friends. So that real 90s music, I grew up on that. So when I heard that, I was like, oh, let me do it for them. Let me show them how they was doing it in the 90s. That's what's up. They That's know, what's up. I like that. I like that. They twerking. I'm booty shaking. Like, it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a difference out here. What's I the difference? And like me on what's the difference? Booty shaking, you can do that. You can do that all day. It's a vibe. It's a movement. It's what you're representing. You're representing your culture. Right. Twerking, some of it is thought pocketed out. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I mean, people. But when do we it. get, when we get on TikTok now, nah, that's all way. we see. That's all we see on TikTok is twerking. I don't know what they doing. You don't be on TikTok. I mean, I got a TikTok, but I don't know what they be doing. I mean, I got a TikTok too. I mean, I advertise my business on there more than anything, but it's definitely entertaining as hell. I can definitely say since I've done that video and with me doing a lot of dancing, I feel like everybody wants me to dance all the time. They always want me to twerk. But like, even when I go to your I'm Instagram, though, well, I I didn't I didn't take you as an overall like just twerker, mm-hmm. like because like again I follow you, so I, I watch what you do, uh, and. Uh, I see you actually doing like real life choreograph. Real life. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, okay, cool. Like, she dancing, dancing. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, is. I'll give you a pirouette if you want that. I don't even know what the fuck that is. That's a spin. It's okay. Oh, uh, okay. Look at you. You, you is. <laughs> I'll give you some kicks and spins. That's what's up, man. I, well, you know, like I said, this is this is the What's New segment, man. And you're from the ham and you're in Atlanta now and you're making moves. So, you know, I just really wanted to allow the people to hear from you as, you know, you know kind of sort of where you came from and, you know, what you're what you're giving now. And, and again, you just gave us a gem that, hey, I got this business that I'm about to actually drop where I actually have the opportunity to mentor and teach girls to be able to come up and do what it is. Because um, the there's a young girl named Taylor Moore here. Here in Birmingham, mm-hmm. she she does a lot of modeling and walking coaching. You know what I'm saying? I had the opportunity of meeting her last month. Uh, actually, she was part of the reason why I had a great success on my sip and shoot event for on March 27th. That's and cool. uh, so um, I had a friend that reached out to him and was like, "Hey, he needs some models here because the last sip and shoot event that I had here." I had a crap load of, of photographers coming through the door, but I didn't have that many models. Mm-hmm. So she was like, "I know somebody who can probably loop you in." So my friend called somebody, called Taylor. Taylor was like, hey, bet I'm going I'm to I'm repost it. I'm going to tell some people about it. I just need you to do me one favor. I was like, what's that? She was like, can you come to my, my, my class at Railroad Park and talk to my people? You know what I'm saying? Talk to them about what cameramen are looking for. Talk to them about poses and light a little bit. And That's I'll make cool. sure I do it. So I showed up. I talked to them. 
uh, while I was out there at the park, I ended up getting two podcast guests, uh, black entrepreneurs that got food trucks and businesses. Uh, they're going to come through for industry money and, and give us some, you know, I tell us about that. their story and stuff like that. And I went and talked to her people. And when I talked to her people, man, all of her people that was out there reposted it on their Instagram. Uh, all my registrations went up and it was the biggest, it was the biggest tip and shit we had. We li- like my studio ain't small, but it ain't that big neither. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like when you get that many people in here, like it was a, it was a whole lot of people in here and everybody was shooting and getting content. You know what I'm saying? So I think that in cahoots with what you're doing, like we try to make sure that when people leave here, they know about somebody new they didn't know about. So it's somebody new they can network with. I ain't saying that you have to work with nobody, but I at least want you to be able to leave here and be like, Hey, he put me on something new with somebody new in terms of like I didn't know they were doing this. Like Taylor is doing a great job. Like she been on the news for Good Morning, Good Morning Alabama like and stuff like that, talking about what she do with helping. She helped little bitty kids all the way to grown kids. You know what I'm saying? And her walk has an attitude. It sets her apart. You know what I'm saying? That's what she do. And I was telling you all of that to tell you about the fact that simply this, this is what she told her girls in her class. Just because you want to be a model, don't feel like you got to jump in somebody cam- and jump in front of somebody's camera and be naked because you want to be a model. You don't have to do that. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's kind of sort of what you was getting at about the fact of this is who I am, this is what I'm doing, this is the lane that I'm if in. You, you like know it, what I'm you saying? like it. If you don't, you don't. That's it, man. If you get it, you get it, bro. Like, is and and when I started out, man, as the Champagne Newt, shout out Champagne Newt and in, in, in the ATL. Uh, Champagne love stories. This this what he called himself. That's where he focused on weddings and stuff like that. Yeah, he was the first photographer. He was the first photographer that I ever heard on Instagram live say from that guy that bought a camera in college using my camera to get girls. <laughs> he is the first person that I seen openly say and admit it. You know what I'm saying? Like, at one point in time, like, yeah, I wanted to tell a girl that I wanted to take a picture of because I wanted an opportunity to talk to her. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, is, bruh, is people like that that have blown up. Like, everybody know who that nigga is. Like, I reached out to him because he ride motorcycles, too. I was like, bro, let's get us two assistants, send the two assistants to a location. They set up everything. We get somebody to film us going down the freeway. I'm going to be on my bike. You be on yours. We riding and we showing up and then we battling on camera on who, who going to get the live shot. You know what I'm saying? I hope that somebody allow for this Negro to hit is the fact that he left me on red and on, on, on Instagram. Like we had a whole conversation there. I'll when make I told sure I repost it so he can see. Man, but it, but it's but it's all good, man. It's is at this moment. I'm glad that you came here to to bless the mic. You know what I'm saying? Bless the podcast. I'm so glad that you had me. So uh, before we get ready to get out of here, because I don't want to keep you too much more longer. I know you got to roll. What is what do you want for the people to know about? Danny, like right now, like for the listeners that we have, the subscribers on YouTube that we got, like if they come and they check out this podcast, like what do you want that 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 young lady that might be coming to sign a contract with you to know about the business that you're getting ready to open? Like what can she expect? And then you know what is what? Do you have anything new coming up as far as the industry goes? Do you got any videos that you're getting ready to get into that you can talk about? Because I know about NDAs, you got certain stuff that you film and certain stuff that you're doing yeah. that you just simply can't talk about. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got, I finna be sending out some NDAs for a show I'm about to do. So I get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you making moves and I commend you, but I ain't got to be in Atlanta to make no moves. I promise you that. And I'm still going to get a bag. <laughs> so whatever you got that's new that's going on, you know what I'm saying, that you can give the people here in Birmingham, because the majority of my listeners right now are in Birmingham. That's the majority of people who are listening. Mm-hmm. So it's probably going to be one or two people that's going to probably hear this that know exactly who you are, and they're going to be happy to hear from you, what you're doing, how you're moving, you know, how God has blessed you with the journey that you're taking. So what can you give us in terms of, like, what's new, what's training with you, the, the new direction you're going in? I'll give you three things. One thing, I'll leave you with a word of advice. Don't stop pushing. Okay. Like, you're going to be faced with a bunch of BS. Keep going. Whatever your dream is, go for it. If you have to relocate, if you have to revamp, if you have to go back to the drawing board and start from square one, write it down. Write it down. Write it down again. Keep writing it. Look at it every day. Tell yourself every day that you're going to do it and go for that. All right. That's, that's it. 
that's advice. That's step number one. One thing I would say that's going for me, I'm always working. Right. So I'm always trying to see like what fits within my brand, what makes me Danny L, what makes me what makes me me. So I'm going to do whatever that is. And a lot of the things that I'm doing now is more dance based because that's my heart. That's my passion. Choreography, dance. I'm dance training a lot. Okay. Shout out to Detrion. Shout out to Ponder the Wonders. Shout out to Lyric London. I'm taking all of their classes. Right. Kiosh, they ain't no joke. Shamika Ann, no joke. They ain't nothing to play with. You done met Shamika? Or have. I done jumped in her DM before. They are no joke. They are nothing to play with. They going to get in your ass. So I take, <laughs> I take all of their classes. They give me right. Um, and I would say number three. One thing to know about me, I'm going to be me. That's what's up, man. I will never forget where I came from. I'm going to always be that 205 girl. I'm going to always be that Birmingham babe. You can never. 205 what side? I'm from the west side. <laughs> west side, the west side. side, the best side. Hey, shout out to Powderly, baby. What's Don't up, Powderly? Don't expect me to change. Shout out to Titusville. Don't expect right. me to change. So on the outro, this is what we're going to do, man. Because I know that uh, the fellas that are listening over the podcast that they're watching on YouTube right now, they're looking at you. They didn't probably scroll to Instagram real quick to check you out to see what you're looking like. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to ask for the fellas that's out there that want to know. Like, so... Uh, this is one of Kim's famous question whenever we bring guests on to our podcast. And she grills me with it all the time mm-hmm. because I don't have it. So where do you find the balance at with what you're doing and what you're striving for and how it comes to your personal life and your social life? And are you single? Like, are the DMs open or are they currently closed? Okay, let's just say my work life is my personal life. So when people ask me what I do for fun, it's my work. Okay. Like my work is fun. I love I love to be in front of somebody's camera. I love to dance. I love to bartend. I love to do every, I love to sit down and write my business plans. I love to go and tumble. I love to coach cheerleaders. I love to choreograph. So my work is my fun. So I really don't do anything other than I like to go and host at the club. Right. So that's what I do for fun. So I mean, everything else, I mean... So to go back to Kim's question, where's the balance? I go to sleep a lot. So that's your balance? That's my balance. I sleep. So what about the DMs? Are they open or they closed? I read them. That doesn't answer the question. Are they open or they closed? They're open to to who I want them to be open to. I hear that shit. I would say you have to be able to afford me. (laughs) You have to be able to afford me and afford my lifestyle. And um, I just say I'm very spoiled and very expensive. Afford you and afford your lifestyle. Dang, so I know you got to go and it's starting to get interesting because now you're saying stuff that I like to grill motherfuckers about. When you say afford you, so what's your idea of guy? Height, money, social status, go. So what's your idea of guy? Height, money, social status, go. I mean, my ideal guy is not necessarily what I'm gonna get, but if okay, you that's ask, cool. But, but if you ideal ask guy. me, my ideal guy, if you say height, I would say six five. Okay. Um. Money, you can give a range, low <laughs> to high, on the lowest you accept to the to what you ideally Let's wanted just say to be. I kind of like athletes. Okay. I kind of like basketball players. Okay. I preferably like shooting guards. A point guard is I. Right. Okay. They okay. I so you ain't at the, you ain't at these motherfucking house games, is you? Uh no. Okay. They trash. I <laughs> dippled and dabbled with a couple rappers, but that's not really my lifestyle. But if I mean, you the I'm second gonna, girl to say that. I had a I that's interviewed not my uh, She was young and she was going crazy. Matter of fact, right now I'm still editing their podcast because of how they were talking. She was 21 and she a rapper, and that's one of the things that she said that she really despised was dating other uh, like male rappers. But I can say athletes because of my degree and just I understand their lifestyle. I understand what they go through. All right, what's your degree? Kinesiology. Okay, cool. Where did you go? To, in USA? Just where you graduated mm-hmm. from? Okay, cool. Did you play it while you were down there? Mm-hmm. What, did you play it while you were down there? Oh, hell no. What's I'm wrong? a GDI. Oh, don't do that. I'm a goddamn individual. I ain't nothing wrong with pledging. Don't do that now. 
like I was telling you earlier about how with photographers and stuff like that, you cannot put me in a box. You cannot put me in a box. I don't want to be associated with anybody else. I want to be associated with Danny L and Danny L only. I I can respect that, bro, but I don't think that my association with the fraternity that I pledge puts me in a box at all. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that I'm trying to derail you from your perspective on what your perspective is because your, your perspective is going to get Danielle where Danielle wants to go. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, it's kind of sort of like the young lady we had to come in and talk to us about hypnotherapy. You know what I'm saying? When she was talking to us about spirituality and God. You know what I'm saying? I had to go ahead and be honest and open with her and be like, at one point in time, I had to understand that God is God. You know what I'm saying? And, di- and different people with different, you know what I'm saying, our religions, you know what I'm saying, as long as they worship God, you know what I'm saying, God is God. You see what I'm saying? Does that make sense, what I'm saying? I like, saying. You, you can't be null and void because somebody doesn't practice Christianity and automatically assume that they don't believe. You see what I'm saying? Right. So just because what you do is not something that I don't, I don't agree with doesn't mean that I can't see eye to eye with you about mm-hmm. uh, about a common thing. So what you do and how you move, that's, that's cool, or whatever the case may be. But I'm glad to know that she like basketball players. I do. So you like basketball players? I mean, if it's going to be. You like the practice team niggas or the niggas that's playing? Because we can figure out how much money. I want to start it. You want to start it down. So I you, like so you want too. niggas on one, two, and three year, I maybe. Like wide, I like wide receivers, cornerbacks, running backs, preferably a receiver. So you think you're going to end up with athlete? I don't know. I don't care. As long as the person is nice to me and they treat me right. Because, I mean, you said afford you, you know what I'm saying? So, what type of lifestyle are you live in that they got to be able to afford? I like what I like. I am very spoiled. I eat a certain way okay. every single day. Okay. I eat very healthy. Healthy food is expensive. It is. I want to go to the spa at least two or three times a week. My nails cost a lot of You money. say you want to go to the spa two or three times a week? Yes, that brings me peace. I be zen, friend. My nails cost $170. And how many times a week you got to go get that done? Eh, that ain't a week. That's about two or three times a month. Okay. I'm at peace. Dance class is expensive for me to train the way that I need to, my rent, um, investing in my business. And so right now you're doing all this on your own dime. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when he comes in, what are you expecting I for him to do? I want to spend his money. So you want to save yours and spend yeah, his. So he paying for spa nails, no, training classes. Trophy. Let me be the trophy wife. I mm-hmm. make sure he's straight. If he makes sure I'm straight, we good. <laughs> <laughs> we good. He's straight if I'm straight. <laughs> so the grand question, and I promise the last one, and we're going to get out of here. So you say you're going to make sure he's straight. What oh, does that mean? Straight. straight like what? He got everything he need. Everything he need like what? I am the ultimate female. Nah, you a tomboy. That's what you just told me. So. I am. I'm a dude, which makes me the ultimate female. I'm not tripping. I'm not doing all that extra. If you want to sit down and you want to watch a basketball game and kick your feet up, we are watching a basketball game. We kicking our feet up. You drink your Bud Light, I'm going to drink my Angry Orchard. We're going to sit here and talk about this game together. You want to play the game? Have me the controller. No. You want to on COD? You want to be like, oh, no, I hate Call of Duty. I might play. But you know what it is. I might play 2K with you, but. I can't fuck with 2K. I'm not playing. I'm, I'm play a Marine. GTA. I like to shoot shit up. Oh, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to trip on you. You be like, that bitch ass. I'm like, that bitch ass is fat. Now, I don't want her ass, and we not going to touch her ass, and we not doing none of that. I don't do them threesomes and shit. But I So mean, you believe I in res- monogamy? I do. It's so if me. you have this top baller, you think he going to be LeBron James to you? You need another bitch? Well, we going to get a wig. I wear a wig for you. You want another bitch? I need to get another hairstyle. You want to <laughs> Okay. You know what, We bro? could have talk in a different accent. We can't day. even do that, though. I got to let you know, man. Look, man, before we get out of here, this is what I need you to do. I need you to shout out a couple more people that you want to, man. Make sure that you uh, tell people about on the platform. You can give us two or three people you want to shout out real quick. Your camera is right there, so make sure you look at your camera when you do your shout out. And then last but not least, once you get your shout outs, make sure that you tell the people who you are again and where they can find you. And if they're looking to uh, book you for anything, let them know what they can book you for and what you're going to be doing in the near future. And then we're going to get out of here. I would say that we're going to shout out my top security 
And that would be my best friend. His name is Chase. I'm going to shout out my mom because she's the one who taught me everything that I know. And I'll shout out my cousin Lauren. because Your mama look like you. She does. Tell your mama I said, what's up? Man? That's my twin. It's scary. I'm Tell like, I said, why? what's happening? I will. Right, I'm like, why that. she look like me? Ugh. And then I shout yeah. out my cousin Lauren. She has also been an inspiration for me, too. Lauren I mean, who? Her name is Lauren Hendricks. I be wanting to kill her, but she is also an inspiration. She in Birmingham? She is not. She's in Atlanta. But everybody in Atlanta, but I be wanting to choke the shit out of her, but I love her to death. That's what's up, man. Just like so, my mama. Last but not least, go ahead and tell people who you are. If y'all want to find me, y'all can find me on YouTube at Because I'm Danny L. I think on Instagram it is E L L E Danny underscore. I don't think I know. And then on TikTok is I am Danny L. And there you have it, man. Good people, man. Uh, can we give us a, a, a quick applause real quick? Yeah. So, again, thank you, Danny, for sliding through. Thank you for blessing the mic, man. Thank you for coming to the podcast. Most importantly, thank you for coming and doing the collaboration. I'm looking forward to looking what these edits are going to look like and all that other good stuff, man. So, in the meantime, between time, if you're listening to us right now in your car, you got us in your ear, and you ain't hit the follow button, man, what are you doing, man? We need you to hit that follow button. If you're sitting at home right now and you're watching us on your TV or your projector because you're looking at us on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. That website that I was telling y'all about it is up man go ahead we got a new section called spill the tea we want your confessions man give us something to talk about we want to read your story so we can discuss it right here on the panel me and the co-host the mua that lady that they call kim you know what i'm talking about so until next time man y'all be good man take care of yourselves man uh thanks so much for listening and guess what peace